Here, we're gonna go over all the various aspects that Foodly has. So part one is gonna be quick service restaurants. For quick service restaurants, we have a self-service kiosk, just like this, somebody would walk up to it, touch your order, all the app, uh, categories come up, and here, let's say I wanted one of the main courses, basil, pesto, and roasted tomatoes, sounds delicious, customize it, and I can also put on some add-ons like crunchy tofu and a slice of homemade sourdough bread. Wanna add more items? I can, uh, if not, I don't have to, but let's let's see what else is on the menu right here. So these are actually add-ons. So hey, an add-on automatically shows up, automatically customizable from our back end. But for now, we'll just focus on how the customer experiences it. And here's our other add-on for it. Bam, everything's been added successfully. And hey, I'm gonna add actually dessert now. Let me do some tiramisu. And now, hey, you know what? I feel like getting a drink. Okay, old drinks pop up after tapping in the drink category. Added successfully, very easy. And then I can add all these items if I want. And then I just tap that uh, cart icon to go. And that's it. I would have to press checkout and so on. Once I press checkout, I can automatically send a, a, a tip right here. And hit next, uh, I can enter my name and then I can hit uh, my phone number to get a text receipt. Now for our part two, we're gonna show the check-in kiosk. Imagine there's no hostess and you wanna check in at a full service restaurant and put your name down, you would walk up and touch here to check in. And I'll ask you how big is your party? Uh, what's the name on your party? So here I had four and I wanna add, hey, I'm Mike Wu, I guess for now. And then I hit next right here and then enter my phone number to get a text message when my table is ready. And then uh, next, uh, I can also have preferences. So if I know I'm if they know I'm vegetarian or if I want to sit at the patio or if I have any allergies, I can just throw into there and I can pick and choose what seating I want to have. And if I need any accessibility, so if I have kids with me, booster seat, high chair if I need, and it was the occasion. You know, some people go out to eat for birthdays or anniversaries. So people automatically know, the hostess already knows on their uh, tablet who it is and what they're coming in for. Here is the tabletop kiosk. So let's say you checked in on the kiosk up there for full service. Now you have a tabletop kiosk for in all the full service locations. Very similar to our self-service kiosk for quick service. You know, the categories show up, all the menu items, just like that. Same customization, same uh, add-ons, very similar process like that. And here my items are added. Here are my upsells now uh, that, that are configured. I can add the things that I want. Um, let's say I wanted the Mediterranean eggplant salad, I just add that. And also each of these items can have a name associated with it. So it's very easy, hey, who ordered this item and who ordered that item? Shows up automatically and goes directly to the kitchen just like that. So here are my items are added and here's my upsell again. And this time I added a bell peppers bruschetta. In this case, I can add more items, look through more. Uh, and now I can add drinks if I want, very similar to the self-service kiosk. And here, bam, added successfully. Next, I would just hit check out after, right after adding this drink as well. And that's it. And I can add more drinks too if I wanted. Very easy, there's no limit to how many items somebody can add. And here we review our order right before we send it in. Now we can submit our order, that's it. Here in the last part, we're gonna go over our back end. Foodly provides a dashboard where you can see who your top customers are, which dishes are doing well, and all that through just one system and make it very easy to access. And everything's accessible to the back end. So let's say a manager is away and needs to do something real time at a store. They have the complete access of doing that right through the system. And so let's look at our menus and orders page, our main tab. Here we get a quick breakdown of all the orders that are coming in real time. And then everything is searchable by when they were taken and many categories and of different statuses. And then uh, here it gives me, let's say we open a menu item, it gives me a quick breakdown of which items, uh, what person order, what their details are, when they ordered, and who they are and have customer data on each of these people. Let me go back and show you how somebody dealing with the menu adds categories. So these categories will be something like appetizers, main courses, and so on right through the system and people can schedule their these uh, times uh, they can also pick which locations are available for which times all that right through this dashboard and it gives them complete control of the categories and which menu items will show up on them 
Now we're going to look at how to edit a menu item. So let's come back to our menu. Here are all our items with images and everything. Let's go to the previous page. So let's look at one individual item and see if we can tweak it and see, show you how it looks when it's filled in correctly. So here's the item. Here's the name, pri uh, price, everything. And here are the images we can pick for them. And uh, here are the specific individual changes we can make for them. So for example, we can edit the description. You can also, you know, select which category it's going to be in. In this case, it's a uh, appetizer. And the other one, we can also take care of what apps, upsells to add, like which add-ons and things like that, like you know, drinks. And here's the scheduling. And we can also pick the location variation. Like, hey, let's say it's available for one location but not the other. We can check that from right here. That's it. You're set and very easy to manage in the back end. So here. We're going to show you how to take a look at locations. Let's say you're a chain and you have multiple locations. Here, you can edit each location as it was its own, with its own address, uh, its own uh, location information, and most importantly, its own schedule. So you can turn on some locations at certain times of the day, week, so on like that. And right here, you have complete access to both your locations. And that's it. This is a quick breakdown of our back end. Now we're going to look at our mobile app. Everything you've seen has been controlled by our backend, including the mobile app. So here are all the locations we would have set up like shown previously. Let's say I want to go to this specific location right here. The whole menu loads up with all the name, prices, description, things like that as we set up previously. On top, you can scroll through different categories, things I want to go to, things I want to eat like salads. Let's say, hey, this looks good to me. Here I can customize it very similarly as I could with the tabletop kiosk and the uh, self-service kiosk. Uh, right here I can pick my sides or edit my ingredients and so on. Let's say I want to get rid of this item right here and I want to add anything else on top. I can right here. And then the customizations are all that we program in the back end. And if that looked good to me, I'm just going to hit add right there. Once it's added, I can add more items if I want right through it or if not, I can tap, but in this case, I'm going to add a beverage. And let's see what looks good to me in this case. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And I can also change when I want to eat, right now or to later or dine in or to go. And that's it. Thank you for listening to our demo.